to the channel. It is Monday for me, but it's my day off. So this is my long run day. And it's gonna be a 10 miler, which is my longest run in the prep so far. And I haven't ran this far in probably nearly four years. So take you along with me, see how it goes. See how sore I am. So I'm at mile 8.5 now, feeling pretty good, cardio wise, um, breaths, well still pretty under control, not going too fast, the only thing I'm noticing, which is probably a normal problem, knees are getting a bit stiff now, ankles are getting a bit stiff, but I'm on a home stretch, so cold bath, and then straight into a hot shower, the rest of the day, I've got the fun of going to do more Christmas shopping, walking a dog, which should be fun. Might take some videos of that. And that should be my day, really. I might start editing this video for you. Get them off as soon as possible so you can stay on the journey with me. See you at the end. So that's 10 miles done now. I'm gonna go in, have a shower, have a cold bath. As you could see there, my GoPro died just at the end of my run where I was just about to explain how I was feeling. So I'll just do a little voiceover now. Uh, I was feeling really good. I felt really good the whole way. But like I said, from eight and a half miles onwards, my ankles were a little bit stiff and my knees as well, but no pain, just, just a bit of stiffness really, to be honest, because obviously I haven't done that mileage in between three and four years. So, so I felt really good apart from that. So I just went in, got a hot shower, had a cold bath, had a bit of a stretch off and then my mate texted me if I fancy the gym session so I was still feeling good and it was my day off so I thought why not and that is the video you are watching now this is my final set of incline dumbbells I think I was doing I think they're 38 for sets of six just to try and maintain some strength and not lose too much size whilst I'm on this uh, marathon prep with all the running I'm doing I'm burning a, a lot of calories but I still like to keep body weight movements in so I always keep body weight dips or bench dips in my workouts. Same with pull-ups in my back workouts. I always keep something in. But then we just jump straight back to some strength again to maintain. So I did three sets of six. If I haven't done barbell, well, any form of barbell uh, chest press in 12 to 18 months. So just kept it nice and light. Just stuck to six reps. I think this is 60 kilos, the first one. And then I think I'm this is my last set. I go up to 70, but don't want to push it too much. So I just I made it a little bit harder by having a pause at the bottom instead of adding more and more weight, which could possibly have led to a bit of an injury. So just kept it safe. As you can see, it makes it a lot more difficult. And we did four sets of lateral raises on this machine which feels really good single handedly it's really smooth so we did three sets of 12 and then i think this is my final set you're watching now a bit heavier with sets of eight and then this is pretty much what we did for shoulders and chest and then as you'll see in a minute we moved on to triceps as i said i wasn't really planning on this workout so i didn't really go all out on video and everything i just wanted to get a few clips and to show you lot what i'm doing Tricep rope push downs, nothing special, just three sets of 12 
and then a little drop set at the end and then I didn't record it but we did barbell school crushes four sets of barbell school crushes and then we did a straight bar tricep push down to finish off and, and that was the end of the workout so hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to know anything more about my weighted workouts or my running just leave a comment down in the comment section and I'll get back to you on that appreciate it if you could all like and subscribe to the channel and follow me along on my journey see you in the next one Thank you.